Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Samia. Good afternoon, Samia. Take Please a take a seat. Samia, introduce yourself to the panel. Good afternoon, sir. My name is K. Samia. I am from Hyderabad, Mirchal, Malka, Chori district. I have done my schooling in Millennium High School, which is situated in Varangal. And I have done my intermediate in KPI Institute itself. I am pursuing my degree in BA at GPS. And my hobbies are dancing, listening to music, and watching movies. Oh, dancing, listening music, and uh, uh, another one is uh, watching, watching movies. movies. What kind of movies you watch? So there is no. I don't watch only the separate genre. I will cover all the types. Of okay, you all watch recently. Which movie you watched? My recent film is Bedroom Lanka 2012. Bedroom Lanka 2012. What, what message? It? What it is? Yes, it is all about like how some villagers believe in superstitious blind uh, blindly, and those all blind beliefs will uh, definitely empower some uh, village headmans and uh, some village headmans to easily exploit them. And also, it is all about like uh, some people uh, their 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 weakness will be definitely shown in their actions in some villages, like not being some uh, some doing some illegal activities such types. Okay, so there is a message, clear cut message. Yes. Superstitions is one of the themes. Superstitions is one of the main themes. Okay, Soumya, you said you are from Madhyal Malkajgir. Who is your MP? Sir, MP Revan Reddy. Revan Reddy. Don't you think Revan Reddy sometimes makes uh, derogatory statements, uh, abusing statements against the government of Telangana? Sir, it. Uh, I don't think that is definitely so derogatory. Because every one who whoever in in that position will definitely think of all perspective and they will speak. So in his point of view, also there is something about the, what he is speaking. I don't think so that is it is totally derogatory. Okay, no, sometimes he makes abusive language against the Chief Minister K C R. Sir, as we look in, uh, as we see that many of the politicians definitely we speak in uh, that way to attract the masses so towards that, them, so like to attract other party members members into their party. So it may be in that uh, strategy also. So that is degrading the political level, political status in the state. Politics should be free and fair. Sir, in that case, uh, in future only we should definitely uh, keep some. Educational qualification, so we can come out of it. But in his case, maybe to attract the masses, he may uh, speak those derogatory statements. Okay. Are you aware of article Samya? Yes. So tell which article I should ask you. Sir, ma'am, you can ask me any article. Any article. Okay. What is article three twenty four? Three twenty four is election commission. Sixty one. Sorry, ma'am. I'm unable to recall it. Article twelve. Definition of state. What is other article talking about the same meaning? Article thirty six, ma'am. Thirty six. Okay. Article forty five. Article forty five is uh, early childhood care of education, uh, early childhood care and education for children below age six, above six years. Okay. What is a fundamental right related to education? Twenty one sub clause A. Oh, it is not sub clause. It is twenty one A. Okay. Alright, sir. So, Mia, what you have chosen IAS as your career? So, from my primary school itself, whenever my parents, my relatives, or some of my father's friend ask me that, what is your child doing in her education? Once she will definitely say that she will definitely become a collector one day. Even at that age, I don't even know what is collector IAS, but by hearing all this, she will definitely become a collector. Then, when I am in my tenth standard, also till then. I used to ask. I used to answer my teachers also. My aim is IAS. So slowly after my tenth, I started. I came to know about UPSC. In that, I really liked those subjects, and I thought that definitely this will build my personality, and it will make aware of all things which are happening around me. Okay. okay. Think that one day you have become an IAS. Yes. And in your district, there is a problem of malnutrition, mainly in children. Malnutrition. What steps you take? Do that, do that, do that, do that. So, uh, as it is mentioned in the Indian Constitution, that Article that forty seven states that like uh, states should definitely look after the uh, nutrition of child and education and health care. So in that case, I I will go in that case. Sir, like I will enrich some uh, I will give some schemes and also look after the 
district hospitals in the district. Okay. Is the DPSP or the guidelines to government or to bureaucrats? Is government sir? Then only if when I pass the law or when I ask them to do so, they will definitely do. Then implement the law. Okay. Samya, do you think everything is going good in Telangana in the present time? I cannot. I cannot say that everything is going good, sir. But uh, slowly, I, I can say that slowly uh, we we are going to achieve some things which are some like developing technology. And but in some cases like uh, women abuse and also some uh, some other uh, issues like uh, as we see now there are many issues related to women abuse. Sir. So such like these things and uh, some nutrition, malnutrition. These are also some. Present case like uh, they are not doing well. Okay. But related to technology and education, also slowly we are developing options. Okay. Do you support uh, the BRS party? I cannot say that I directly support sir, but due to their some some of their schemes and uh, their actions towards state are really nice. So, like uh, they are really nowadays they are caring like uh, for farmers. And also some insti- uh, initiatives for girl child also. And I totally not support them, but uh, nowadays they are definitely working for the state. I think. Okay. Okay, Samya. Uh, you have to improve your marks a little bit. You can see your grandest marks, which is low, as compared to your friend Shivani. Do you always compare with Shivani? No, sir. I compare to myself. Like it studies me and tutors me. Oh, very good. So you are unique. Hey. Okay. Okay. You, you don't compare with anyone. No, sir. Fine. Uh, nice answer, Samia. Okay. Uh, you want to ask anything to the panel? So I just, I would just uh, <laughs> like to ask you that um, if you members want to change any educational institution or you want to change the society. First, on which ground you will focus most? Education. You want to. You so ask? my second one. Okay. If you want to change the society or if you want to change anything in our India, first on which ground you will be focusing most? Which ground means see change changing in the entire system is not at all possible. Okay. For example, as you said that even abuse, even abuse is uh, increasing. And as for the NCRB report, also it is increasing. So behavioral change must be imbibed in the people. That behavioral change is must. The mindset of the people need to be changed. That is one. There will be many laws. There will be many acts and policies. But if there is no behavioral change on the ground level, then there will not be much difference because there are many laws. There are prohibition of dowry act, but still dowry is prevailing. There is domestic violence act, but there is violence. There is nirbhay act, but rapes are increasing year by year. And these are not my reports; these are government of India reports. So behavioral change is the main thing that I want to uh, imbibe in the people. Unless and until people doesn't adhere to the laws strictly, then at least we can't mitigate the situations. We can't mitigate the things which are going on. If there is some abusive uh, thing happening over one particular situation, we need to have some. Uh, we need to go there, observe the situation, make good, make a, have a good awareness about it. First thing, even as a bureaucrat, you should have an awareness why it's a root causes. You go to uh, know what the root causes, know what the root causes, and then try your upon it. This is first knowing the things, cause and effect relationship. Know the cause, then know the root cause, then work upon it. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you. It's nice okay. talking to you. Okay, nice talking to you. Awesome. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you.